Why are we here? What's our purpose? Why are sequels never as good as the original? These are the deep, existential questions that Jesuits have explored since their humble beginnings in the Renaissance. They sought answers over centuries teaching and studying the humanities. But since none of us have time for a 500-year binge watch, I'm going to find some answers in the next couple minutes. You in? Let's do it. Right now, it seems like the humanities and the very concept of a liberal arts education have come under attack. But to understand the real value of the liberal arts, it makes sense to, surprise, ask another big question. What is the purpose of higher education today? For many, from politicians to major institutions, the answer quickly becomes pretty mechanical. To prepare today's youth to meet the needs of tomorrow's workforce. But in all the talk of job placement rates and career readiness, it seems like something kind of important might be getting lost. I'm talking about life. When you think about it, in life, success isn't a measure of your salary or job title. It's about happiness, fulfillment, finding a meaning, and making a difference for others. Oh, look at the puppy! And by that measure, nothing prepares students for success better than a liberal arts education. A Jesuit education rooted in the humanities truly explores what it means to be, well, human. Expressed in subjects like literature, poetry, drama, and history. They center on our strivings, failings, passions, and ideals as humans. They educate the whole person, fostering a broader worldview, celebrating differences in diversity, equipping students with the confidence and skills to evolve, and instilling a desire to seek goodness, truth, and beauty in the world. Let me put it like this. Where some universities teach students what to think, Jesuit liberal arts colleges help students learn how to think. It's why, at Le Moyne, it's not uncommon to see things like accounting majors minoring in dance or music, English skills applied to computer science classes, and students completing art history internships. So, it's hard to argue with the ideas of happiness, fulfillment, and complete education. But there is a reality to all of this. Education is an investment. Parents paying for college want to know their money is being well spent. Yeah, we're getting to that, Mom. And for the student dreaming of a career in finance, it's easy to look at things like ancient philosophy or French poetry and wonder when it will ever apply in the real world. The answer is every single day. The demand for thoughtful, eloquent, adaptable, imaginative people is greater than ever. Companies are seeing that the value of their best employees is not simply in technical expertise, but in an understanding of the historical, ethical, cultural, the human context in which they operate. Because ultimately, many of today's graduates will change careers multiple times, and the more a student learns in college, the more equipped he or she is to adapt. So while liberal arts students are often labeled as dreamers, bookish, or spacey, wait, what was I talking about again? Oh right, the liberal arts. More and more, throughout the professional world, they're being recognized in different terms, leaders, innovators, and even CEOs. Let me sum it up like this. Students educated in the Jesuit liberal arts tradition are not content to simply fill a role in today's world. They're compelled to create a better one. And when we look back at our original question, why are we here? It's hard to find a better answer than that. Hey, that better world isn't going to create itself. <laughs>